In this video I will show you how to convert viewfinder from an old sharp camera to a mini CRT to use for things like testing if an output from a video game console is working. First, you need an old camera. This technique should work for most viewfinders. I've got mine for about $5 so it was pretty good deal. Now you need to disconnect viewfinder from the camera. In my case I've just needed to disconnect one cable and unscrew two screws. In your case you might need to disassemble the whole camera. Now that you have a viewfinder you will need to remove all screws and open it up. From that point you will need to be extremely careful because like a normal big CRT it might be still charged which in the worst case can kill you. Most of the mini CRTs are powered with 5 volts, so it's ideal voltage for USB but you need to check because there are also models that need 12 volts. When detaching the case I find out that it had a microphone so that's an interesting thing. Now we need to figure out where to solder composite jack. But how to do this you may ask? It's pretty easy, all you need is a multimeter with a continuity tester. First to get the ground pin just find a capacitor on the board and put one probe on the negative side of the capacitor and with the second probe just touch around pins and it should beep. Congratulations you found the ground pin. Now do the same and find a positive pin. Solder two cables to those pins and connect it to a USB. But be careful, do not mess up the polarity because it will definitely blow up if you do. As you can see it shows a white screen. Now we need to figure out where to connect video signal. Strip the RCA cable isolation so you have two cables. A copper ground cable and the second one. Solder copper ground to ground of CRT. For the second cable just connect any video input and touch around pins until you see the image. I soldered two cables because I wasn't sure which one is video. Now it's time for the test run. Yay, it works! For safety reasons I've secured PCB with electric tape so nothing will short out. To complete the project I've modified the case so I can get all the cables outside. To do this you can simply use a soldering iron. But don't inhale burnt plastic because it's not good for your lungs. I've also glued composite jack onto the case and add connector so you can detach USB cable. As you can see it works flawlessly and it's a really cool and cheap project. Also the viewfinder should still work with the camera. If you liked this video don't forget to leave a like and post your opinion in the comments. Bye.